This video will show you how to make links hot on Blackboard. So right now I'm in a Blackboard uh, discussion forum uh, window and I have created a um, message to go on the Blackboard discussion forum and I want to make a link hot within this message. So you'll notice you have all of these sort of editing tools um, up above the message window. And you'll notice there are three rows of those tools. And on the second row, kind of about halfway in, you'll see something that looks like a chain. You see here when you hover over it, it says insert edit or edit link. Now, this isn't clickable right now. I can't do anything with it. But as soon as I highlight a piece of text, then that link becomes available to me. So first I need to go get the uh, web page address that I want to put in there. So let me copy and paste that. Okay, so now I have my text highlighted that I want to become a link, and I have in my copy and paste, I have ready to go, the URL for the website, and then you just click on this insert link button, and a little window will pop up in a second, okay, and it says, where it says link path, you paste in the link, and really it's that simple, that's all you absolutely have to do. However, other useful things to do is so you have the choice of open in this window or frame or open in a new window. I would suggest you say open in a new window because I've actually found that Blackboard, sometimes if I don't have it open in a new window, it doesn't really work because of the frames that are on um, Blackboard or something. The style sheet, it just it kind of messes it up. It's supposed to still work within Blackboard, but it doesn't. Um, so I would suggest that you not only paste the link in, but you also have it open in a new window. And then give it a, a title or some descriptive content. This is helpful to people who um, are not cited. Um, so if there's someone who is using a screenwriter, a reader, to read the, uh, your discussion post, then this title will explain what the link is going to do so they know what it is that they're clicking on. So I'll say, um, this is a link to the web page for the class. And this class, um, it just is not set. You can't really do anything with this. I don't know, sorry, I'm not enough of a computer person to know what that should do. Um, but what you've done, what you fill in there, that will work. So that's how you make a link hot on Blackboard. Now one final thing. Sometimes when, so when I open up my windows, I have all three rows of tools. Probably because I've set that way because I always use all the tools. But you can hide those tools. And so you only have the first row. So it could be that when you go to your Blackboard, you maybe only have the one set of tools. Um, either some particular time or all the time. So what you can do is if you want to have, but actually that still gives you the link tool. So this is just a helpful thing if you're like, I want some other tools. Um, like so. Um, because actually it's another good thing to know how to do is how to use the HTML function. So I will do another tutorial on explaining how to use the HTML function. And what you need to do with it, it's, it's usually pretty simple. But I'll explain what you need to do and how you do it. Or why, why you need to do it. That's the important thing. But anyway, this post is now all set to go. I've got my link hot, so I will go ahead and submit it.